Ja, ik zie dat print al beter. Ja, ik Dirk, Rassi and Felix have just jetted off to the airport now, so hence we have uh, Stick and Top Table today, so Stick and Dwayne, 15 minutes, uh, let's start with English and then we can go over to Isidro Costa in Africa. Dwayne, uh, better than you guys expected? Yeah, jeez, Brendan, uh, the, I think we planned for for our, our game and how to execute our game and um, Obviously, we didn't know what to expect uh, from them, but uh, yeah, I'm <laughs> really, really happy with the result. Uh, we left a couple out there still, um, and uh, you know, with our with our defence, you know, we we're very happy. We pride ourselves on our, on our defence, and uh, sometimes you might make a mistake, but you know, the reaction from the guys to come back after that first try of Australia. Was just uh, yeah, fantastic. Uh, coach, um, obviously, congratulations for the win. Um, just talking on, on attack, uh, obviously, with the players and general players, and being expansive in the first half, in the, inside your own 22, in the first half, something different from you guys? Uh, oh. <laughs> I wouldn't call it expensive. Uh, we, like we always say, that it's an opportunity. You know, Our players, they always play with their eyes open, and they've got a freedom from the coaches that we. We create opportunities on the field, and you saw today, uh, more especially if you look at a guy like Mario Lepoch with Billy Lero, we know those are the guys that are always looking for those opportunities in the game, you know, so, uh, and it's not a matter of, because sometimes <coughs> when we talk expensive, it comes with the risk, you know, so I wouldn't use that term, you know, so once again, I think we're just happy with the way we executed our game, our, our game plan, and once again, I think I must also touch on the point that Dwayne mentioned. If it wasn't for the way we defended, you know, and the way we fought hard in the game, you know, I don't think those opportunities would have came later on in the game, you know. So I, I must give credit also to the way the guys they fought on the field. Coach, um, what, um, Katie, mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, <laughs> once again, once again, they were last year they were called the B team, and this year during the week, and then there were a lot of talks about B team, you know, and we as a coaching staff. We knew internally, we trust everyone that's in our squad, you know. And an honest truth from my side, I don't like people when they disrespect the Springbok emblem and call the team that we, we selected a, a big team, you know. So I'm just glad, you know, I think now people will start to believe on what we are trying to do as a team, you know. Because of once again, if you want to win the World Cup, you know, you have to trust the people around you, you have to give players opportunities. And I'm just glad the way uh, Ketley today uh, stood up, you know, he played against one of the best players in the world, you know. Koroi uh, right at the back, you know, like the back line they've selected, it was a very powerful back line. So for them uh, to grab their opportunities like that, you know, so I'm, I'm very, very happy for them. Once again, a guy like Mani Libok also, you know, getting his first start. So I'm just glad with the way, the manner in which we, we won the game, you know, because of where to fight. Like Dwayne said now, they scored from a mistake uh, in that. Uh, First couple of minutes in the game, but our boys, you could see the energy was still there. They were positive, and we managed to find our way back. And yeah, once again, credit to everyone who played today. I'm um, talking on the kicking tactics of the Aust- of the of the Wallabies. Did you guys predict that we kicked me as much um, to, in today's game? Yeah, I think if you look at their team selection, it, 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 it tells us a lot, you know, as coaching staff. Because if you're going to select a guy like Chris Hodge at 12, you know, we knew that okay, they want to have a strong <coughs> kicking game. And, uh, once again, when it happened in the first half, we spoke about it even during the week. You see, our players, that they mustn't be surprised, you know, because we know Eddie Jones can come up with uh, some funny trick stuff. And to be honest with you, if you look at the first half, the tricky plays that they had, you know, and then our guys to be able to play with the eyes open and being able to handle it, you know. Uh, we, I'm, I'm just happy with the guys. Uh, and I, I have to be honest and say we were prepared for anything that will come because of once again, we, like we said during the week, they had a strong team. They're a strong team. Coach, do you read anything into um, this Australian performance, especially considering how important CA is? Uh, and uh, that doing to answer as well. This is one of the, the most important thing for us is to keep improving as a team. You know, because of once again, like I said, yes, it's a World Cup here. Everyone is focusing on the World Cup, but the thing is, for us, we just want to make sure that we keep building. You know, and have the momentum going towards the World Cup. And to have a start like this, you know, uh, I think there's a lot. There's a lot of. 
uh, room for improvement, things that we, we can work on. But once again, like I said, I'm just happy with the with the manner in which we won this game because of where to dig deep, you know. Uh, those guys who came, they're physical, you know, but once again, credit to our boys. They're also for 80 minutes. Do you introduce this coming? Like, were you guys really, were, they, were you guys that good or were they just <laughs> not Australia as perhaps expected? Or of the Australia of old, maybe I should say. Yeah, you know, I'm not gonna. You know, I'm not gonna say anything bad about them. Um, I think we, like I said earlier, we we prepared in a in a way that we can you know we can exploit hopefully a weakness, um, and you know it was it was fantastic to see how some, how we executed some of our plays, and obviously some we didn't execute well. So there's still there's still room for improvement for us. Um, but man, the, the the effort and the and the work rate from from the guys was fantastic. Here, even even a guy like Jean Klein who played his first first test, um, you know, it was a fantastic work rate. Um, uh, he stole a couple of balls, and it, it was it, it's nice to see the guys buying into our plan and executing our plan. And I, I think, yeah, um, obviously the altitude also plays a big part. I think. Um, but yeah, you, uh, you you can't write off uh, Australian team. Uh, you know, there's still a couple of couple of games before the World Cup, and you might you might see something different uh, come come World Cup. Dwayne, would, would you rate this as one of the box best ever attacking performances? Yeah, Hendrik, uh, I don't know. Um, it, well, it was it was it was good rugby. I think uh, for the. As a spectator, I think it was fantastic to watch. Um, you know, um, obviously, I think it's a it's a big thing for for the crowd and people watching and thinking. Oh, the box got, got this, always got this box kicking game and whatever. And and it's not like we're changing tactics. Uh, it's like Coach Stick said, the guys see the opportunity in front of them, um, and and it's also the work they put in as coaches. With, um, uh, Coach Stocker and Felix and those guys prepping the boys and say, "Listen, you got you got to work on your skill, and if you and if you up your skill, you can execute a different different things." So um, I think that's that's the big thing um, from our side. I think uh, the guys really focused on 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 the small skills and how to execute those small skills, and uh, you know then it kind of looks like we. We, we change our game plan, but it's not changing the game plan. It's just guys, you know, seeing something different in front of us and, and pulling that trigger to play. Uh, Coach, would you say that what you saw uh, is promising for the World Cup, or at least it's giving confidence? Mm -hmm. And uh, did, you give him, give, did it give you new ideas or strategies? You know what? I think <coughs> it, it gave us a good foundation, you know. So once again, if you can learn while you're winning, or any coach wouldn't complain, you know. So we can't complain. I think once again, like I said, the way the guys they fought back, you know, and uh, Australian side they were physical. They they gave us a lot of challenges in the game. So it's not like I know a lot of people will look at the scoreboard. I don't think the scoreboard really reflects of how they played in the game. You know, yes, credit to our guys. They played well. Like we said earlier on, we we. we when the opportunities came, you know, you could see the energy levels around the field. The guys were keen to have a full, a full goal there. But once again, I must also mention this: the crowd was awesome today. The way they were behind us, uh, the way they gave us energy. And I know during the week there was a question that was asked: why we always struggle when we play against Australia away? It's the same thing when Australia comes at home because of we've got our supporters behind us. They also struggle, you know. So once again, from our side, yes, there's a there's a lot of things that we can keep on improving. But we'll take the win any time. Um, Coach, <clears throat> with uh, this victory in mind now and looking forward towards New Zealand, what do you, just off of the bat, what do you think, the, where's the room for improvement? What needs to be done to, to go over to New Zealand and, and put in a similar performance? I think there was a moment in the game where we had a lot of 22 meter entries <coughs> in the Australian uh, 22 and where we didn't convert into into points, you know, and you saw there were a couple of line breaks also, even the last one, where they went all the way to go and score, we had a, a good line break, but I think, that's where I think we need to make sure that we keep improving, you know, when we get opportunities like that, you know, we have to make sure that we convert them into points, because when you play, for example, when you play against the All Blacks or Argentina, at their best, 
you know, those opportunities sometimes you won't get 10 of them. You might probably get four or five, you know. We have to be able to, to convert them and also on the other side, the breakdown. I felt like today we were a bit scrappy on the breakdown, you know. So if we, you saw when uh, Grant Williams came on off the bench also, you know, the moment you get a quick ball, you know, that's when those opportunities that I spoke about earlier on, they come. So I think breakdown, we have to also improve and, and, and also make sure that we finish the opportunities. Uh, Coach, obviously there's still two more games to go in the Rugby Championship, but at the end of it, you guys have got to cut a few players for that World Cup squad. Does a performance like this for some of the fringe guys give you guys a really nice headache to have there? You know, Andre Este is the most massive in midfield. Uh, Dwayne Mensah and Jean Klein, you said, uh, um, Grant Williams coming off the bench and showing some enterprising play there. Uh, it was quite nice to see that kind of thing, uh, even though you're going to have to chop a few guys who might have deserved going. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think the more competition and the more players they lift their hands up, the better it is for us as coaches. I think, like I always say, for any coach, you'd rather have a stress where you don't know who to select than where you don't have options. You know, So I think at the moment we are in a good space. And uh, once again, you've mentioned a couple of guys like Andre, even Jean Klein, his first game, the way he was playing around the park, you know, and uh, Marco van Staden, you know. Uh, playing at home in, at Loftus, I think he had a massive, massive game. So once again, from our side, the more, the more, the more competition we get amongst our players, I think the better it is for us. Yeah. Dwayne, while this was a great uh, performance uh, team-wise, how much personal satisfaction do you take out of this performance? Yeah, uh, you know, um, you I'm, I beat this bar captain. By the way. <laughs> 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 yeah, you know, guys. I would, I would love to keep keep on playing, um, but you know sometimes you you got to realize your your time is also running out, and uh, you know you don't know when is your last game on home soil, and uh, you know I I try to enjoy every every single moment out there, and um, you know especially with this win, it it's you know, it's just it ticks a different box, and it's you know it it hits somewhere been pretty close to your heart you know it's um, it's a special performance and it's a special group of guys and not not just players it's a it's a special group of coaches management I- I- everyone um, you know and someday it will it will all come to an end and uh, yeah, you know you, you just gotta you just gonna enjoy every every single minute second you know, whatever of it I think so. Is it? Can I can I also just finish on the question you asked, and without going deep on the detail on it about the performance of the guys they had today? I'm not going to mention the names, but we had an original squad that was supposed to join the guys overseas, and some of the guys today that were not part of that group, and the way they performed today, and we've already announced the squad to them that are joining that squad. So once again, it goes back to the opportunities that we spoke about. They don't only apply on the field when we're between the four lines. Sometimes the opportunities you get in life also, you know, where everyone kept on saying that they were the B team, they were the B team. Some of the guys, they booked the ticket today to get to go to New Zealand. So that, that's, how it, that's how special it was for this game. Okay. Duane, uh, first test of the season, um, usually a bit of rust is, is um, you know, to be expected. And, and I guess in the finishing, some of that comes through there. But how pleased were you with just the cohesion that the pack showed together? Because, uh, I mean, let's be honest, you spoke about the defence and that, I mean, you guys really overpowered Australia up front and, and just totally dominated them. Yeah, okay, no, uh, I think, you know, they they pitched a big, a big pack. And, uh, you know, we, we said beforehand we, we need to be up for it. And... Um, you know, we we're still, like you said, a little bit rusty. I think there's a couple of things we can still work on, um, especially scrum-wise. Um, got a, a couple of free kicks and a penalty against us, but later on, as as we you know, as we've gone on in the game, you know, we we found our we found our feet kind of, uh, and and we grew grew in confidence. So I think that's that's some of the uh, some of the things uh, you know we we're very happy about, um, but. You know, it's test match rugby, and you got to be, you got to be on song from the start, and you, uh, you know, you can't get it 40 minutes, 50 minutes into the game. Um, Lineup wise, exactly the same thing. I think, um, you know, we we had our plans, we executed some of the stuff, and uh, obviously one or two other things we, um, 
we, we, we can still work on. But there's there's some variation. It's it's not you know uh, same old same old things. We'll always back ourselves when it comes to um, forward play and more time and things like that. But you know we uh, we also we also need to vary our play. And uh, I think we showed we showed a lot. Um, we showed a lot today, and hopefully we can, you know, we can we can continue to grow in that in that aspect. Um, Dwayne, just uh, coach, Dick and you touched on it. We saw the amount of people came out today, and, <laughs> and uh, last and in your next game, looking forward at Ellis Park, and how much are you guys looking forward to giving, going, leaving your last home game before the World Cup, putting putting in a send of performance going forward at Ellis Park. Yeah, I think. Well, Coach Stick mentioned it as well. Uh, it would, like I said, uh, it was as fantastic. It was a coming out, and you and, and you see the support, and you see the crowd. You know, from from singing the anthem, and you know, every single play, scrum, line out. Yes, you hear the people, and it's it, it's that extra extra energy, and it's like your 16th man on the field, and uh, it really it really pushed us through. And uh, like you said, going. Be, before we go to the World Cup and we play our last game at Ellis Park, that would that would be tremendous to have, to have a full stadium again. Um, I think we we had a chat to the CEO of the Bulls and he said we, they could have sold out the, the stadium about two, three times um, for, for today's test match. So the the support that we have in South Africa is is just phenomenal, and uh, we would just like from our side we would like to say thank you to to every single person out there. It is. It is, it is really uh, fantastic. Lucy? Hey, what's up? Thank you. Coach, I'm going to go to the next one. 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 I'm going to go to Ja, wel. Of dit is jy sien op die span wat dit word nou genoem en wat ook al. Ek dink die span wat die span wat die bokke uitsit daar buite is jou springbokspan. Mense kan sê dit is beespan, mense kan sê dit is aspan, dit is die bokke. En daai ouens moet die springbokke gaan verteenwoordig. Dit is die belangrikste ding. Ehm um, elke ouens sy eie opinie. Ons weet ons weet wat wat ons moet doen en ons weet wat jy jy weet wat wat ons die dag moet gaan gaan uitvoer. So uh, ek dink ek dink die manne wat wat nie gewoonlik begin nie, maar wat 'n geleentheid gekry het, het rarig het rarig aan die kant gebring vanaand. Ehm um, jy weet soos wat ek vroeër in die week gesê het is daar's nie 'n set Springbok ag is set World Cup span nie, almal speel vir plekke. Ehm um, ouens kan sê daar is 'n paar manne wat yes hulle is hulle is die starters en hulle het 80, 90, 100 toetse en sulke goed. Jy weet nooit of hy ou gaan, gaan World Cup toe gaan nie. Amal, amal werk vir hy spot. En, en, en dis die lekker ding. Ons amal druk hard. En uh, uh, ons, ons druk mekaar, jong ouwens, ouwer ouwens. En, en ek dink ons, ons balans in die span is, 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 is great. En, en, en dit is, dit is, ek dink dit is ons, ons goeie kwaliteit wat ons het. Thank you. Um, Dwayne, Dwayne, jy het genoem, um, jy het soos 27-jarige, jy voel so, uh, het het vandag, voel jy dit was vandag so, um, volle 80, um, en jy, jy het nog staan en glimlacht toe jy op postmatch gedoen het. Ja, wat is dit? Uh, uh, met, met drie groep is dit lekker. Um, jy weet, die ouwe is druk jou, um, jy moet die veering in die chats en alles op die, op die veld, is, is fantastisch, en Jy weet om, soos ek vroeger al gesê het, is as jy in hierdie groep is, moet jy, jy, jy moet jou kant breng, maar ook die positieve energie wat ons kry van mekaar af, en wat ons kry van die kraad af, en ons kry van, van couches af, dit is, yes, dit, dit, dit laat ou greid voel, en ons allemaal, ons allemaal werk vir een spesifieke doel, en, uh, en, en, en dit is, en dit is lekker. Uh, Dek er ook man moeg, um, maar die mannen langs jou allemaal, allemaal, allemaal druk mekaar om, om op te staan, jy kop boog te hou en uh, jy weet een goeie goeie selfbeeld al waar jy te hou so uh, nie, het was, was lekker um, Guys, we are running out of time, the Wallabies have to come in, we're going to take three more questions here but there will be eight players and an assistant coach in the mix zone, in the crawl so, 
please just bear with us on this one. Question here, Hendrik, can you saw, and then, then we go to mix on, all right? Immediately. Coach, um, obviously this is the first test in the year of your Rugby World Cup defense, uh, which means, of course, a huge target on your backs. Do you feel like this type of result, especially knowing that you've got another formidable side already in New Zealand, to feel this type of result is what you needed to put the fear factor in all the other teams that will be looking to target the Springboks and topple you guys as, as world champions? Uh, or on the flip side, you think now this type of result puts a lot more pressure on you guys going forward to keep replicating this type of standing? I think the, the results for, for today, like I said earlier on, is, is just a, a good foundation for us to build on, you know, and uh, the stress as coaches, we are going to get stressed because of now the more competition, like I said earlier on, the more competition we get amongst our players, the better it is for us. And that's what you need in the World Cup here. You know, if now we are scratching our heads, where we, for example, now, if you go to 2011, All Blacks, when they won the World Cup, they won the World Cup with their first fourth choice player. Do you understand? So the more depth we build in our squad, I think the better it is for us as a, as a coaching staff, because of once, once again, any, anything can happen, you know. We've got Zia, who's currently injured. At the moment, he's doing his rehab. But if you look at a guy like Marco Pastari, you know, had a massive game today. And once again, we haven't selected the, the team for the Oblix. Even though those guys are in New Zealand at the moment, they know exactly that we haven't selected the team. So some of the guys, I can tell you now, you'll probably see some of the guys that play today also playing that game. Some of them might be even starting. Dwayne, uh, Coach Stokke verwijst now a couple of times. Wat het jy gedink van Willi Leroes gewaand het? Ja, ek dink, ons het een fantastische back three, as ek het so kan sê. Ek dink, uh, ons het Kurt Leen Kuinen, wat, wat kruid finishers is, maar uh, wat Kurt Stokke vroeger in werk gesê het, is, daar is een, biek, daar is een gedeelte van um, youth, en een bykie experience, wat, wat, uh, wat, wat saamwerk, en, en ek dink, hulle, hulle drie werk ongelooflik lekker saam. Ek dink, Wil het, wil, het, wil het lekker komst en hy kan lekker, le, lekker met die jongmanne gesels om hulle in die rechte plekke te sit en ek denk, um, ek denk al die combinatie vir, vir ons het kruid gewerk vanavond um, en jy sal mannetjes kan finish so, um, ja, is een fantastische fantastische game door Kurtley uh, ek denk hy ken daarom al die bykie hierdie veld is, is thuisveld daarom nou vir hom so um, hy ken het en hy, hy, het, sy, hy het sy klas gewaas so Ja, dus, um, ja, hy, 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 hy verdien, verdien aan man of the match. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, can you so uh, we've we've said this quite a lot of the data but it's how development a lot of so build yeah but but once again get like twice I'll come with 2018 and get a lot of time world cup they send chill about the game but it's asking an allocation needs about must it try his and lose needs yeah but and can I squad not develop but if fundamentals the players they don't get like twice because I'm not going to get in the ballet glam who at least spin this up man I mean I mean I mean I mean I mean I mean Si quasi u u sebe nzaki skills ze players it inle la ubone ga apa talk da lubari inle la i handling skills it ya bona so kusha ubone ba ikon improvement ke me tu and but once again la don na talent it ba i i so la ndobe dite dona kanyi so ba sa si understand the frustrations the supporters it Yeah, but but the CIAs did not have a plan to make sure that the CIAs were in 2023. The CIAs were at least a peak. It was a peak in 2019 when the World Cup, but the CIAs did not have a development. So the CIAs did not have a try as a result. The CIAs did not have a second chance to improve. Last question on the day. Coach, uh, we said in the team some young players, and you faced them. Uh, are these matches a way to test new strategies and also check on some, on some new players? and shape somehow the future of the Springboks also? I think from our side, if you talk about new players, we only had one new player today in our squad, it was young play. The guys that have been up, that were playing today, if you talk about the youngsters like Ketley Aren, say Ken and Moody, we've at least now in the second season with them. So it's not like, uh, it's not like we've got a lot of new faces in our squad, you know? But once again, like I said, some players also 
need or deserve to get opportunities, you know. So that is why sometimes we show trust in everyone in our squad. Like I said earlier on, it's going to take the full squad to win the World Cup. You know, so the trust and the, the confidence we're showing in our, into those youngsters, I think it's paying off also for us as coaches. The results that we've got today, you know, if you ask me during the week, if we'll put 40, 40, 43 points against Australia, I would then tell, I would, I would say probably we, we're just dreaming, you know. So uh, the manner and the way they play today and the fighting spirit, you know, because we had to take it, you know, so we're just happy that the boys, they've managed to lift their hands today. Thank you, guys. I uh, will have the mix zone in the crowd uh, in about 10, 15 minutes. Thank you, guys. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.